start by um, giving strong public signals that uh, we stand beside those who are fighting for um, better values in China, who are fighting for reform, for a genuine rule of law. So we could start by uh, not ignoring the Dalai Lama, for instance. The British government has um, implied that it is the Dalai Lama standing in the way of uh, good engagement with China, when in fact the Chinese authorities have, um, they have they have used that, they have created the Dalai Lama as the problem in terms of, um, they have made him into the problem in order to, as part of their elaborate strategy to gain okay. the upper hand fair, in the did, diplomatic the relationship. Has, forgive me, the, the, the Prime Minister has met the Dalai Lama on previous occasions, as, yes. as have members of the royal family, but, but you're right, not on this not on this visit. Th the Thank Prime Minister met the Dalai Lama in 2012 yes. and after that there was an 18-month diplomatic freeze imposed by the Chinese authorities. But uh, if in fact Britain had stood up to um, argue against that and to say we will meet whoever we want, then they would have maintained their leverage and built a stronger relationship with China, which is better for Britain ultimately and okay. better for British businesses too. Let me put that important point to, to Ken. I mean, you've heard what Kate has been saying. Yes, we want their business. Yes, we want their trade. Yes, we want their jobs. But if we are going to trade with them, we need to have certain conditions. Well, I, I don't know how you impose those conditions because they're about to become the largest economy in the world. They can ignore us. We can't ignore them. And the, the simple doubt, I campaigned on Tibet issues over the, the years, but the Dalai Lama made a fatal mistake when he fled Tibet. He was taking money from the CIA right up until Kissinger stopped that when Nixon went to China. And therefore, the Chinese will never trust him. They see someone who was funded by the CIA, they just don't, I mean, they will never make any concession. And I think that's sad. I think the Dalai Lama is a wonderful guy, but he made that mistake and it's tainted him in the eyes of the Chinese. I think that the point about 